So back in May, I was looking at my bookshelves and I was realizing that a lot of the books on my shelves don't really represent who I am as a reader. And while I don't necessarily have a problem with that, I kind of want to get my shelves to be more representative of me as a reader. Like I want them to show who I am, especially the shelves behind me. Right now, we still haven't actually like anchored these to the wall. If you're wondering why the shelves behind me are always empty, if this is not the first video from me you've seen, uh, these shelves are not anchored to the wall yet. We are still redoing this room. Um, so I'm trying not to put too many books on them, but the books here, some of them I've read, some of them I'm not interested in, some of them are on TBRs every month. Like, it's just a random assortment of things. And that's true of all the spaces in my home that we have books. And I just kind of want to get my physical TBR down to the point where, what am I trying to say? I just want to be reading the books that I own and if I'm not interested in them, I want to get rid of them. So that's going to happen in two ways. One is my Reader on Hall Challenge, which, you know, people call the self-destructing books, like bomb books, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I pick six books every six months and I try to read them and if I don't read them, I unhaul them. Or if I'm not liking them, I unhaul them. For the last six months of this year, I want to really concentrate on reading the books that I already own and not going out and purchasing books just because I'm bored or because I heard one thing about it that made me want to read it. Like, I want to get my physical TBR not necessarily down to zero, but I do want to get it a lot lower than it is. And if I'm not interested in the books, I just want them to be going out the door to a better home, to someone who will appreciate them more than I do having them just sit on my shelves for years and years and years collecting dust. So what I did is at the beginning of May, I had gone around my house and I had counted up and made a spreadsheet, like a list on a spreadsheet of every single unread physical TBR book that I have. So let me show you all of the spots in my home that have books. Underneath my side table has two unread books. And this shelf has 57 unread books. This shelf in the hall has one unread book. And it's that one. Right there. These shelves in the office have 13 unread books. My TBR cart has 11 unread books. Oh boy, this is the one that I don't want to have to deal with. They're even doubled back there. Oh man. Here we go. On this basement shelf, there are 63 unread books. In this random tote, I have four unread books. So as of May 7th, I had a grand total of 151 unread books in my house. And those are only my books. I did not include my husband's books in these because those are his books. I would never get rid of his books, so I'm not gonna count them in my kind of balance sheet or TBR zero or whatever. I'm, even as I'm filming this, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna call this or what the end goal is. I mean, it's to get less physical books that I'm not interested in on my TBR or on my physical TBR. Like, I feel like that's the ultimate goal, but I'm still kind of talking through it in this video too. So that left me with 151 unread physical books. Now, since then, it is now July 6th when I'm filming this. I don't know when this is going to go up, so it might even change between now and then. But as of filming this clip, I am, I have purchased two more books. So that brings me up to 153 physical TBR books. Um, but I have also read five of them. So that brings us down to 148. I have started six more, but I'm not going to count that towards my total and I have already decided to unhaul one. So as of July, my grand total is 147 physical TBR books to read. I just heard a bang. I don't think it was in my house, but like... So as of right now, I don't really have a goal number. Like I'm definitely not saying TBR zero because I do not read anywhere near 147 books in a year. Like if I said TBR zero, I would have to not buy a single book for the next like four years in order to make that happen and not read anything from the library. So 
I'm not saying TBR zero. I'm just saying let's keep it a little bit more balanced. I need to be reading more than I'm bringing in because I want the number to go down as low as possible. I'm not someone who wants to have a zero TBR. Like I always want to have a selection of books to read, but I just also want my shelves to represent me as a reader. And I want to be able to go to my shelves and literally, I mean, granted, I know you have different moods. Sometimes I'm in the mood for romance. Sometimes I'm in the mood for thrillers. Like I read a wide variety of genres, but I know there are books on my shelf that I would just never pick up. Like I would go over my shelf, I would look at it time and time again, and I would never be in the mood for it. And that's where I'm trying to kind of cull the numbers, like cull my collection, bring the number down, and kind of get a more accurate representation of who, I'm, who I am as a reader today onto my shelves. So I'm hoping that between my two challenges, like I said, this TBR zero book balance, whatever I end up calling it, and my read it or unhaul it challenge, I'm hoping that my shelves will become representative of me and by the time we are ready to actually fill these shelves, I'll know what I want to display behind me as a show of who I am as a reader. Because like, especially my husband, I've noticed when I'm watching booktube and he walks into the room, he goes right up to the screen. He'll go right up to the screen and he'll be like, okay, so they read this, 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 this. Oh, they're into this. Like, oh, this is the type of reader they are. And I feel like a lot of people do that. And I just think that having random stuff behind me <laughs> is not an accurate representation of who I am as a reader. So I want my home, basically, I guess what I'm trying to say in a very roundabout way is I want my home to be full of books that I know I'm going to love. If I pick them up at any time, I know there's a good, well, you don't know if you're going to love a book before you read it, but there's a good chance that I will actually really enjoy the book. So wish me luck. Let me know if you've ever done anything like this before, whether it's a TBR zero or a book balance sheet or just like getting tired of looking at the same books over and over again, done a massive unhaul and just started fresh. Like, let me know if you've ever done anything crazy like that. And I will check in again, hopefully at some point. Um, I'm going to kind of keep these numbers running. I don't know if I'm going to do, maybe I'll just do it like an end of the year check in or like every six months I'll do a check in. Maybe I'll even just include it. I might combine it with my reader unhaul videos. Um, yeah, I'll have to decide about that. I don't know. This is going to be its own video, but from now on, I might talk about this and include it with my reader unhaul. So keep an eye out for that <laughs> in December or January, I guess, because uh, we're already into July. And yeah, like I said, I was still trying to talk this out, so I don't really know what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to go before I ramble about nothing for any longer. <laughs> um, but yeah, let me know if you've ever done anything like this before. Let me know if you'd be interested to keep up with my numbers, if you want me to kind of report back on how it's going. And yeah, that's it for this one. And I'll see you.